As the name implies, trace curves create a datum curve that track the motion of a point during a mechanism analysis. And in my model, I have a bunch of pin connections and slider connections and a few motors and a kinematic analysis setup. If I right click on it and choose run, you can see the motion that this defines in here. And now that I have a playback, I'm able to generate that trace curve. To do that, you go to the Analysis drop-down menu and then choose Trace Curve. The first thing that you need to select is the paper part. In other words, the part in which the curve will be created. And now it's asking me to select a point or vertex that I want to track. Let me turn on my datum point visibility and there is a datum point in the assembly. And if you have multiple different result sets, you select the one that you want to use. And again, you have to choose an existing result set. So you have to run it before you try to generate the trace curve. There's also the choice between 2D and a 3D curve. In this case here, I have to choose 3D because my curve is 3D. You can only generate a 2D curve if the motion itself is planar. And you can click the preview button and there we see the curve. I'll click OK in order to generate it. Now let's open up the disk part in which I created it. I'm not going to save my results. And you can see that we have the curve in our model. In the model tree, there is a local group that consists of a bunch of datum points and then the curve created through it. And that's how you create a trace curve. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.